All right, you guys. Hello to our YouTube family. We wanted to introduce the girls to you guys. We did film the birth and the days after and everything, and I'll be working on a vlog for that, but I just wanted to get up a quick video and introduce them to you guys. They were born on July 28th. They were 36 weeks and one day, and I was able to have the vaginal delivery that I wanted, so I am just beyond thankful and grateful for that. So right here we have, this is baby A. This is Miss Ivy Nicole. She came out first, obviously, head down. She weighed four pounds, seven ounces at birth. So she was definitely tiny, um, but she has been such a, like just a little fighter, just a little strong baby. She is really just taken to eating, nursing, um, sleeping, doing everything she needs to be doing. She's just, she's just doing amazing. Like I seriously, she's just a tiny little package. Um, she does have brown hair as you can see, but yeah, so this is our little baby A, Miss Ivy Nicole. Yeah, you sleepy girl. And then this is baby B, Miss Amelia Jo. And she decided the day that we had them to flip breech. So mama pushed her out feet first, <laughs> uh, which was incredible. I was so thankful to still be able to have my vaginal delivery. I had an amazing doctor and I cannot wait to share the birth story with you guys. It was amazing. Oh goodness gracious. Um, but anyway, so baby B, Amelia Jo, she came out, uh, like I said, feet first and she was five pounds, two ounces. And as you can see, she has blonde hair. Hopefully you can see she has blonde hair and a precious little stork bite right there. But yeah, she is just, she's so quiet. She doesn't uh, make hardly any noise. She just eats, sleeps, and, and she's happy. As long as she's fed and gets to nap, then she's happy. Um, Ivy spends a lot more time awake and we kind of call her like the wise owl. <laughs> she just kind of looks around and um, her eyes are very big and she just stares at you and she'll just be awake forever, just contently staring. Um, whereas Amelia, we've seen her eyes a few times only because <laughs> she pretty much just likes to sleep and eat. So they're doing amazing. We were able to come home. Uh, they were born on a Friday morning at 1.30 in the morning and we were able to come home Sunday afternoon. Um, we, they didn't need to go to the NICU or anything like that. We just had to kind of watch blood sugars and stuff in the hospital. So praise God, we were so, so thankful that, um, that they got to come home with us, even being born early and tiny and to be honest, a lot tinier than we expected. And, um, but yeah, we're working on fattening them up. Mama's doing great. Mama's recovering great. I'll update you guys on me as well, but I just wanted to introduce them to you. And like I said, uh, we're just taking our time recovering, snuggling, hanging out. But once I'm, you know, kind of feeling a little bit better, we will start editing some of the footage and get some vlogs up and going for you guys. But thank you again for all of your love and support. Thank you guys for being amazing subscribers. We love you. And um, yeah, we're so excited to share our precious little bundles with you.